to move. I'm going to meet him. He's had a rough night. We're not moving. <laughs> okay, mute. Yeah, all right, we're all good. All right, so we'll just start on our mat here. Your mom said she was joining, is she okay? So her knee is not good. Okay. Yeah. So I think she might be going to the doctors then. Gotcha, okay, cool. All right. So let's just start with our feet on the floor and just slide the scapula down. So reach the fingertips towards the heels and you're just opening up the shoulder joint. Just gonna slide, slide down and hold and sustain that position. And then just scrunch your shoulders up towards your ears. So really just kind of opening up the shoulder joint a little bit here and just hold that position for a second. Engage the abdominals. So pull the belly back towards the floor. Try to keep the, um, a little space in the lower spine though. So you don't wanna flatten out and tuck and curve, but you're really aiming for neutral spine here where the tailbone is reaching towards the wall. And then slide down again. So reach the fingertips towards the um, heels. And then slide the shoulders up and slide it back down, opening up the front of the shoulder joint and slide up. Now open, slide down towards the heels. As you take that position, lift your head, neck, chest and just engage the abdominals. So really just opening up through the backspace of the neck, pulling the belly towards the lower spine. And we're holding for four, three, to keep reaching towards the heels with your fingertips and lower down. And again, reach those shoulders up towards your earlobes and slide back down towards your heels, head, neck, chest, lift up off the floor. And we hold for four, three, two, one, and lower down, good. Let's spiral the right arm, spiral pinky, reach through the center, open up the right leg, and you're gonna reach through that side body, opening up the rib cage. Let your head fall towards the left. Now reach and let everything go. Relax, elbow and knee, slide towards each other through space, opening up that hip joint, your knee is nice and bent, and then center, and we'll take the left-hand side. So yawning, stretching through the body. Inhale, let your head fall towards the right-hand side, opening up through that oblique and side plane. Let everything relax, opening up the knee, elbow slides towards each other and center the leg. And again, right arm, right leg opening. Reach, open up that side rib cage. Try to see if you can touch your pinky towards the floor. Relax everything, slide the elbow and knee towards one another and center the leg, flip the palm and left arm up. Left leg extend, reach through the body, allow your head to fall towards the right, looking away from the shoulder joint and let everything relax. Knee and elbow towards one another, slide the fingertips towards the heels and center. Good. And we'll have a little coccyx curl rolling up the spine to a bridge position. And we'll soften down through the chest and drift the spine back into the floor. Find your big toe joint. One more roll up, nice sequential action. Press the big toes into the floor as you do this and softening reverse back down to the floor. And third time, a little massage for the spine here, engaging front abdominals, pulling in and soften back down. And last time, rolling up the spine. And then from here, hold here, soften down the right side of the body, center the pelvis, and then roll up through center. And again, we're gonna soften down the left side of the body. So the pelvis tilts slightly through space, centering the pelvis and rolling up the spine. And right side softening. So tipping the pelvis like sand is sifting back and forth, roll up the spine center and left side, pushing that um, musculature into the floor and centering. 
and we're going to go all the way around. So we'll have softening down through the right side of the body. Center the pelvis. Push weight into your right leg. Tip the pelvis and coccyx curl. Roll up the left side of the body. And then softening down the left side of the body. Tip the pelvis. Center. Push weight into your left thigh. Coccyx curl. Feel the lower abdominals pulling back towards the upper spine. And center right side tipping, softening down the back space. And right thigh engage, coccyx curl, pull the abdominals back towards the spine. And centering, open up the hands side to side. And we'll just take our rib cage, opening to the left side. And center, open rib cage right. And center, and left, and center. And rib cage right and center. Now you're gonna roll down the spine and try to keep that snake leg action. So shifting right to left, right to left as I'm rolling down middle spine and back, lower back, and all the way down through the pelvis. Uh, take your hands behind uh, by your heels. We're gonna spiral, uh, sorry, coccyx curl, roll up the spine first into bridge position. Spiral pinky lift. Arms come overhead, reach towards the back wall. Softening down the spine, keep your arms where they are, like you're stretching away from that shoulder joint. Release the tailbone down, big inhale. Head, neck, chest, lift off the floor, flattening lower spine, and lift that left leg bent. We'll pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Extend that top leg, pulse, five, four, three, two, one. Extend the bottom leg long. Five, four, three, two, one. Now switch the leg, scissor. One, two, three, four, five. Bend two knees, get higher through the torso, and then lower down. And again, we're coccyx curling, rolling up the spine, bridge position. Spiral pinky, lift the arms up overhead, stretch the shoulders away from the torso, soften back down into the floor like you're imprinting your spine into the mat. Big inhale, feel the stretch in the abdominals, and exhale, head, neck, chest, squeezing, soften, pull the lower belly, and lift the right leg bent. One, two, three, four, five. Extend the right leg. One, two, three, four, five. Extend the left leg. One, two, three, four, five. Stay there, switch scissor. One, two, three, four, five. Two of these come in, hold, squeeze, and lower down, good. Just take a little shift side to side with your knees. Kind of rocking that lower uh, pelvis out, shifting. And let's take one more. So we'll have coccyx curl rolling up into bridge position. Spiral pinky, lift the arms. Big inhale and exhale lower. And inhale up, stretching away from the shoulder joint. Exhale, head, neck, chest come off the floor. Two knees off, bent position, pulsing. One, two, three, four, five. Now extend two legs. One, two, three, four, five. Flex the hands. We're going to tuck the pelvis as we do this. One, arms and legs. Two, three, four, five. Bend two knees, squeeze, get higher and lower the torso down. Good job. Let's take our right leg, stretch it towards the ceiling, take a flex and a point through the toes, and flex. Peel the toes back, and point. Push the ball of the foot towards the ceiling. Flex, and point, and last time, flex, and point. Good. Cross the knee, Lift the pelvis up, just place it to the right a little bit. We're gonna have our left knee knock into our right knee, twisting the spine through space. Take the right arm out on the diagonal, opening up the shoulder joint, 
And you can even increase the stretch by taking your left hand and gently pressing that right thigh towards the ground. Big inhale here. Now, as you inhale, see how your ribs expand towards the ceiling. Try to expand them towards the back. So I'm breathing into the back space of the ribs and then exhale, increase that stretch as you exhale. Big breath in. Take the oxygen to the back rib cage and exhale, stretching further. And one more time in and stretching. Allow the weight of the pelvis to draw the knees towards the ceiling and centering. We'll extend the left leg towards the ceiling, flexing the foot. Feel that stretch through the calf, projecting towards the ceiling and point ball of the foot, toes. Now, as I point, I'm gonna try to open my toes like I'm gripping something on the ceiling. So pulling back, flex and pushing ball of foot, open the toes. And third time, flex and ball of the foot, toes. And last time, flex and ball of the foot, toes. Good. Crossing that left knee, take your hips up and over to the left hand side slightly. And then right knee knocks into the left. Opening into spinal twist, open that shoulder joint, flip the palm to face the ceiling. Increase stretch by just allowing the weight of the arm to drop onto that left thigh. Big inhale in and send the rib cage towards the back space opening. Exhale, stretching and inhale in and exhale. Increasing the weight of gravity and inhale last time and exhale allow the weight of the pelvis to draw the knees towards the ceiling and release the left leg good now just take your hands behind your head now we're going to inhale here then exhale lift the head neck chest off the floor and from here we're just going to twist so I'm gonna to twist, touch the right elbow towards the floor, come up onto that scapula, and then switch it. So left elbow touches the floor, left scapula opens. And right switch, and left, and right, and left, right, and left, and right. Pulling the belly back and in left, a little faster, we'll go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lower down. Now I'm just gonna talk about this for a second. I want you to think about it. <clears throat> you can even try it like once or twice at a slow tempo. So as I come up here and I'm rocking back and forth, instead of it, it feels like a bony rock to me. So I'm feeling that bony scapula into the floor and then switching, yeah? I want you to feel if you can push the back of the middle of uh, in between the scapula into the floor so that whenever I switch, I'm pulling up on the diagonal with my oblique, but I'm pushing back through the sternum so that I'm softening and then I push up again into that oblique. So I pull back through the rib cage, soften and lift, soften and lift. So that it's not just like a flat, like dink and a dink and a dink. It's more like a softening through the middle spine and lifting and then pushing that sternum heart center into the floor. So it's a little more um, lubricated. So let's try that one more time. Hands behind the head. Big inhale in. And exhale. Lift the head, neck, chest, and lengthen the neck. Now try to find that center position, pull the heart sternum towards the floor. And leaning into the right, open up the chest, pull on the obliques and softening through center, lift into the left and soften through center, lift into the right, softening through center, left and pull it back, soften and right. A little faster we'll have. And a one, and two, and three, 
and four. Pull that back. Five lift. Six and seven and eight. Center the torso and lower down. Good. Extend the knees. Spiral the pinky up overhead. Breathing in. Let's take a roll up. Head, neck, chest. Come with the arms. Curling the spine through the back space all the way up. Softening forward. Relax the head. And pull back through the belly. Curving that spine all the way down to the floor again. And open the arms. Inhale. Exhale, head, neck, chest. Curling through space. Find that lower abdominal. Pull towards the back spine. And then curling the spine back. Softening into the floor and opening up the body. And third time in. Exhale, head, neck, chest, lift. And pulling up through space, reaching towards the toes, finding a length through the back space. As I'm stretching over here, stay here for a second. Thank you. And from here, pull into the upper spine. So I'm really trying to curl the spine further. Press the spine in the back of the neck towards the ceiling. Pull back in the belly. Good. Yeah. Now just flop over and relax. And again, pull the belly in, curl the spine up towards the ceiling. So I'm actually in a little C curve here. And flop over. Little stretch. Now reverse that. Flex the heels. I'm going to reach into the flat back position. So extending through the back space. Mm -hmm. Drop the chin a little bit. So I'm actually looking in between my calves. And when I do that, I'm going to feel the back of the neck pressing towards the ceiling. And then I'm going to soften over and curl. And again, curling into the back space. Pull the belly, reach. So I'm really pulling the abdominals back towards the spine, pushing that back into the top of the uh, ceiling and flopping over, relax. Relaxing, flat back, reaching onto the diagonal, drop the chin, lengthen the back of the neck, pull the belly button back towards the spine and soften over. Stack the spine tall and we'll just take some seated work. So from here, we'll extend the left leg long. I'm going to twist the spine. You can uh, push against the right thigh, lift the hip up onto the diagonal. So I'm supporting myself. And then I'm reaching the pelvis, coming back through center, waist, shoulders, head, and opening up the right thigh, twisting the spine towards the left, lift the hip, right leg gets longer. Resist against that left thigh, pull the belly in, waist, head, center, and again, left leg reaching long, twisting lift hip, up on the diagonal, really twisting that spine as much as much as possible, and coming back through center, pelvis, waist, head, right side extend, twisting lift the hip, change the weight, and then coming back through center, waist, top of the head, center, good. One last thing, so we'll uh, extend the left leg, find that twist again, lift the hip on the diagonal. I'm gonna keep going, so take the belly button all the way to the floor, but keep that back leg extended. From here, I'm gonna bend that top leg and just kind of take it to the floor. So I'm opening up that hip. You can twist your head either direction, whatever feels good for you. Just a little thigh stretch here. So I'm pressing the pelvis into the floor. And then I'm going to take that left leg and reach it back on the diagonal, reverse where I came from. So again, lingering with that left arm as much as possible. Find the pelvis first, waist, shoulders, head center, and right side reaching long, twisting the spine, pull the belly button back and in. Lift the hip. I keep going. Reach through the right hand. Extend the right leg back through space. And as I get to the floor, bend that top knee. Come into a little passe and open up the hip on the floor. And just relax here for a second. So you want to get your knee as high as possible. And I'm really just trying to open up that hip. And press that pelvis into the floor. 
Take the right leg back through space. Sequentially, keep that right arm on the floor as long as possible. And then my waist, top and head. And take that one more time. So a little faster, left leg, spiral lift. And to the floor, reach and bend the knee. And left leg retreat, extend the knee, pelvis waist, open up the head and center. And right leg extend, twist, lift the hip, pull the belly button in, reach that right leg long towards the back diagonal, bending the knee and soften and right leg extend back through center, reaching long and center. One more time, left leg extend, twist, pull the belly button in, softening to the floor, extend the left leg, bend the knee, lift. And we have left leg extend and sequential through the spine, pelvis, waist, shoulders, head, center last time, right leg extend, twist and lift. Reach long through the right hand, right leg, feel the oblique stretch, bend the knee, soften, right leg reverse, coming back through center and sit tall, good. Let's flip onto our knees. So we'll just curl the spine, curling the belly button, pushing, exhale the breath, and inhale, lift, arch, and exhale, curve, and inhale, lift, and exhale, curve. Two sides of the body operating at the same time, and last time, curve, and inhale, lift. Now we're trying to sequence the spine. So I'm gonna tuck the tailbone, lower spine, upper spine, top of the head, push the weight back through space slightly. I'm gonna reverse that. So chin dips down towards the floor first, bend the elbows, push through the shoulder joints, push through the lower spine, push through the arch and lift tall. And I have tailbone curves, lower spine, upper spine, top of the head, and I have reverse that chin, elbows, shoulders, middle spine, push to arch. And again, tailbone, lower, upper, top of the head curl. And chin, upper, middle, and push away. So I'm really strengthening into that push last time. Curl, lower, upper, top of the head. Push it through, arch forward with the chest, and we reverse that. So I'm going to drop the chin to chest, upper spine, lower spine, tailbone curve push, and then I'm going to start with the tailbone arching, lower spine. I shift forward and push it through, lift the chin, and I have chin drops, upper spine curl, lower spine curl shift the weight back, and then I have tailbone release, I have my middle spine, my upper spine arch, and chin lifts. And again, chin drops, curving, all the way shifting back, and from the seated position, release the pelvis, grow from the middle spine, shift through, and lift the chin last time. Chin drops, thoracic, lumbar, and curl. And I have tailbone release, lower spine grow, shift the weight forward, and chin arch. Come to our neutral spine. Tuck this in. So just a little shoulder work. <clears throat> release the shoulders down towards the floor. So I'm dropping, I'm pulling the belly button back towards the spine the whole time. Yeah, so I'm keeping my abdominals engaged. Push down through the shoulder joint and open up the scapula. Feel the scapula slide through two sides of the body. And again, dropping through and lower up and drop through, open the scapula and squidge the shoulders and push away, good, from there. We're gonna roll the shoulders. So I'm gonna drop the shoulders, 
lift the shoulders towards the earlobes. I'm going to drop the scap of the back down with the back and roll push through. And again, switch the shoulders release. I lift the shoulders towards the ears. I drop the scapula. So I'm rolling the shoulders back through space. My weight shifts forward slightly. And I push the floor away. And again, drop, slide, lift the shoulders up. Slide the scapula down the back and push into the floor. And last time, relax. Lift the shoulders. I rock, drop the shoulders back and push away. And from here, just little walks. So I'm gonna drop the shoulders, shift the right arm forward, left knee lifts forward. I push into the shoulder joint and shift the weight a little bit. And I drop the weight, left arm, right knee. I push two arms and shift the weight. And again, drop, right arm, left knee, push, shift the weight into the shoulders. And again, drop, last time, left arm, right knee, shift the weight, push in to the shoulders. Coming back, drop, shift the weight back, left arm, right knee, retreat. Two arms, push into the shoulders. And drop, right arm, left knee, shift the weight, push into the shoulders. Last time, drop, right arm, knee, left arm, push into the shoulders and come back to your neutral spine. Good, let's tuck the toes. Just sit back on the heels for a second. Stretch out through the, uh, sort of like a child's pose. Relax the forehead into the floor. From there, curl the spine, push the hands into the floor and just shift back into space into our downward dog. Just release the heels into the ground, shake out the head. You can shred the feet if you want. And just getting into that Achilles tendon and calf. Breaking up the backs of the legs. Walk the feet forward into space. Hang over, forward fold. Drop the weight of the head. Let the spine hang heavy. Breathe into the back rib cage and exhale. Bend the right knee. Cross the right arm towards the left foot and lift the spine, lift the left arm, twisting against that left straight knee. And softening through center. And bend the left knee, straighten the right knee, reach towards the diagonal, open up the side plane, stretch, and soften back through center. And again, right knee bend, left knee stretch, twisting the spine, reach, pull the belly in, and centering. And last time, left knee, right knee bend, or straighten, <laughs> right arm extend, twist, and soften through center. Bend the knees, roll up the spine nice and slow, stacking tall. <clears throat> and then let's take our chairs, finding center. Grab this, whatever time it is. Okay. So nice little space on the floor, feeling the toes into the ground. Lift all 10 toes off the floor and then just let those toes sink into the ground and push the feet back through space and then pull the heels towards the sit bones. So I'm actually pulling the pelvis forward and I'm gonna push, curve the spine back through space Pull the belly button in exactly what we found on the, the floor in our forward fold stretch and pull, lift into a slight arch, opening up the shoulders and chest. And again, push, softening the spine and pull, lift, arch, good. From here, stack tall, find the inner and outer thigh, push into that spiral position. So I'm lengthening and pushing my, the back of my head towards the back space and change, again, pulling the obliques and abdominals back and curve, push, and pull with the feet, arch. And I have spiral shift and spiral shift. 
feel the back, like you're pressing your ear into something in the back. And curve, push, and lift, arch. And spiraling, and spiraling. And last time, curve, and pull, arch. You can really use your hands on your thighs. And inner thigh, outer thigh, push against the hands. And twist, push against the hands. Opening up to a side plane. We'll have <clears throat> right arm. Oh, sorry, hold on one second. Da -da. Okay. So, opening up one second. Now I can see myself. <laughs> Lifting the right arm, right palm, opening up the side rib cage, up and over stretch. You can spiral that forearm onto the thigh. Breathe in, feel the pelvis drop weight as you lift the rib cage high towards the ceiling. And opening, stack tall, and opposite direction. Reaching, spiral the forearm, lift. Feel the weight drop through that left side, open and push into that side rib cage, and stacking the spine tall, good. Now we're gonna push into our right leg as I lift that right arm up and over. Lifting through the thigh, and then stacking tall and left arm, reaching, push into the left thigh. So it's like shift of weight in the pelvis. And then I reach to stack tall, good. And let's take our knees together. We'll just have some footwork. So I'm gonna open all 10 toes and place the big toe on the floor and then the pinky and big and pinky. Try and stabilize the thighs as much as popple, possible popple big and pinky and we'll have one and one opposite and flip and two and flip and three and flip and four and flip now from the pinky play the piano all the way to the big toe big toe lift to pinky and pinky to big and big toe to pinky and again third time big toe to pinky last time pinky to big and to pinky, good. We'll have windshield wipers swishing, trying to keep the big toes on the floor as we do this. And again, stabilizing in the thighs. You can hold the chair if that makes sense for you. And then opening and closing the feet. Really just working the ankles here. Back and forth, back and forth. Good. So we're gonna flex all 10 toes, heels into the floor. Push the ball of the foot, toes, and curl forward, just like we were flexing and pointing in our, uh, on the mat work. So curling forward, lift, and press, lift, and press, extending the knees, lift. Now reverse that. Toes, ball of the heel, peeling and pushing into the floor. Toes, ball, heel, toes, ball, heel, and toes, ball, heel. One more time and ball of the foot, toes curl. Like you have marbles under your toes, and you're trying to pick them up off the floor. Really trying to work the big toe and pinky toe at the same time. From there, flex and point. So flex two, back and point, and we'll have two. And again, as we were pointing and flexing on the floor, make sure the big toe joints are operating at the same time as the pinkies. And from there, one and one, bend the knee, and two, and three, and four, and five, pull the belly button in, sit and tall, seven, and eight. From there, we'll have switch, and two, open the thighs, and squeeze, and switch, and two, open, thighs, extend when you bend, and one, and two, tap the big toes into the floor, and last time, one, and two, opening, and lift and toe ball heel walking back through space and we'll have little pulses with the heels two three four sit tall pull the belly button in and a two two three four and five six open the thighs a one two <clears throat> five six seven and one two three four five six soft with the feet close two three four five six Seven, now runs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull the belly button in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, and release. 
Let's just take our spirals, dipping the fingertips into the floor, opening up the chest, inhale, and exhale, push the feet into the floor, curl. And again, inhale in, slight arch of the spine, and push into the feet, curl. And inhale, reach, pulling with the feet, and push, curl. And again, in, pull with the feet, all the way up, and push, the spine curl. And again, lift, pull into prayer position. Find the length of the spine here. So everything is sucking up into the rib cage. Pull the rib cage down, curl the spine back and open the palms. And again, in. Pulling with the feet, push into the feet, curl. And again, lift. And pull into the feet, curl. And last time, lift. Sorry, there's a dog outside that's making really awful noise. <laughs> and curl, I got distracted. And right arm spiraling, lift. And on the diagonal, push through the spine, reach the heel of the hand away. And spiraling. And push in. And again, spiral, reach on the diagonal. Flip the palm, curl the spine. And diagonal lift. And flip the palm. Curl the spine and from here, feel the spiraling back, lift the rib cage high towards the side. I'm going to open the thigh and open the side rib cage. And I have reaching spiral lift, pull the belly button back and in and open cycling, push the wall away with the heel of the hand. And again, spiral lift on the diagonal, feel the shoulder reach out of the shoulder socket, lift high and open spine. And last time, reaching on the diagonal, pull the belly button in, open rib cage, and side plane away. Two arms, two legs, curling and opening. Lift, inhale, and exhale, curve, push into the feet. Use the breath, it should be audible. And curl, exhale, and inhale, lift, and exhale. And inhale, lift. And then squeezing the elbows back behind you. Take a little half inhale and bellow breath out. And inhale in. And exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale, exhale, and inhale. A little faster. And, and, and. Pull the belly button back in, in. And, 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 and. Last time, everything out, pushing away, pushing away. Relax, a little breath in. And curl the spine, cleansing breath through center. And again, in. And cleansing breath through center. From here, let's just take, keep those palms low. We're gonna open up the pinkies, roll the shoulders back through space, open up the palms of the hand, flip the thumb and curve the spine. And again, pinky finger opening, lift the shoulders, open the chest, and flip the thumb, curl the spine forward. So I am actively rotating here. Pinky lift, up and over with the shoulders, open the chest, flip the thumb, curl the spine nice and soft. And again, flip pinky up, rolling the shoulders back and flip the thumb, curl, softening and reverse that. So flip the thumb open, a little up and over with the shoulders and flip the thumb back. Curl the spine, opening palm, flip the thumb, reach the shoulders, nice and soft, and release, lift, lift the shoulders, pull the belly button back and in, soft through center, and last time, flip, up and over, reach, and soften, back through center, good. We'll release that for the moment. Let's open the thighs wide. 
we'll just open the shoulder joints side to side. We're gonna reach one, pull the belly button in, two every time, three, really trying to slide the scapula side to side, push the walls away, five, six, seven, eight. From here, let's shift the weight into our legs, yeah? You can squat forward a little bit, pull the belly button back and in. So I'm kind of just hovering here. From here, I'm gonna flip the uh, foot, rotate onto the diagonal, stretch the right arm, lift the rib cage. I can support myself through this forearm. And then I'm gonna open up that heel again, pull the belly button in, centering the torso. And again, flip and push down into the heel, reaching long onto the diagonal and flip the heel, pull back through center. And if I want, I can support myself with my chair, yeah? If you want a little extra challenge, try to balance this off the chair and curling back through center, pull the belly button back and in and lift reach on the diagonal, twist and pull back through center. We'll go all the way around. So reaching out on the diagonal flip, opening through center, reach the torso, reach the arms, flip that left foot and open the thigh back through center. And again, reach, flip the foot. Opening two sides of the torso, change the feet, open the thigh, reach, and back through center. And again, reaching on the diagonal, opening up torso, change the legs, change the feet, and center a little thigh strengthening. Last time, open. Reaching through center, lift the torso, reach, and center, good. And walking back to our chair, very nice. We'll have opening, two arms. We have peeling the right hand, right elbow, pushing into that thigh, push away from it, and open through center, almost like a bow and arrow. So left arm, peeling, push into that back rib cage, and opening through center, and again, peeling, shift, pull the belly button back in and opening through center. And last time, peeling, pushing into that thigh and opening through center. So we'll have right thigh, right arm, pushing, lean away. From here, open right arm, reach onto the diagonal, pull the belly button back and in, curling through space, push into the thigh and centering the torso left. Arm left thigh, push, peel the torso, opening wide, reach into the diagonal, curl, push away, and center. And again, push and curl. Inhale, lift, push, exhale, and inhale, center, and curling, lift, inhale, and exhale. And inhale, center. And last time. And lift torso, two sides. Inhale, exhale, curve. And center. And inhale, or exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Really a lot of torso work here. And inhale, good. Release down, awesome. So we'll have, um, let's take our swims. Um, is that what I wanted to do? Uh, so we'll drop the fingertips. We're gonna spiral the pinky, curl and push back through space. Open the shoulder joints, lift the chest, bring that heart center. So as we're here, just take a moment, flip the palms towards the floor, find your middle finger, and I'm opening up this chest heart center. So you can take one arm and swipe it down into that middle finger of the opposite arm. And then as I'm opening here, swipe it down the opposite arm feeling that open chest sternum, you're gonna press down as you do this, yeah? So I'm gonna flip the pinky curl, open the spine, pull with the feet, press down through center and flip the pinky curl, lift, inhale, and exhale. And reach it up and exhale. And reach it up. Last time, exhale and reach it up. Now reverse that. 
relax for a second. Inhale, flip the thumb back through space, lifting like you're curving something, carving something, and exhale forward. And again, inhale and exhale, push into the feet. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Good, relax those shoulders. Give it a little shake. Awesome. Okay, cool. So let's take um, some leg work. So we'll shift onto like a front end of the chair um, and you can take your hands on the opposite thigh and we'll just extend that right knee forward, sliding the heel back through space. Keep the spine tall, pull the belly button in. And two and in from here, open the thigh. Really open it as much as you can. Find that rotator dropping down the back of the leg so it's very active in your, right under your glute, okay? We slide the thigh out, extend. As I do that, feel the weight shift slightly, yeah, into that right thigh. I'm going to parallel the leg, pull it open, slide the heel, feel the underneath of the leg resisting the floor and center. And again, extend the knee forward, pull the belly button back and in. I open the thigh, feel the back leg, pushing into the floor, rotate, drop the weight slightly, and open, rotate again, and squeeze the inner thigh, and opposite leg. Just feel the extension first, and draw the heel in, and extend two, and in. We'll open the thigh. Just take a moment, feel that ex like that uh, muscle kicking in in the back of the leg, nice glute work. We have extending, feel the drop of weight into the left sits bone. Rotate, find all five toes on the floor. Drop, that drops into the weight again, and squeezing the inner thigh through center. And again, extend, bending in. Open the thigh, really kick the glute in, I'm gonna drop the weight through uh, the left side of the body, open, rotate, slide, and center. Now, when we go around, we open the thigh long. I'm gonna feel the outside peripheral line of the body dropping through space, rotate and bend the knee, squeeze the inner thigh. And again, two, rotate around, drop the weight, turn out, and squeeze it in, and third time. Rotate, all five toes on the floor if you can. Drop and squeeze, and last time, open. If this is easy for you, I would say give your thigh a little resistance with your hand so that I'm resisting the coming in. So we open the thigh, rotate out, parallel position. I slide all five toes on the floor and draw it in, and opening thigh. Rotate parallel and in, squeeze. Third time, open, sliding out. Drop parallel, resist the thigh and in. Last time, open, feel the kicking in of the musculature in the back of the leg and in and opposite leg. Extend, open thigh wide, rotate, draw the heel and in and Second, all five toes on the floor, drop through the heel, feel all five toes slide back. Third time, extend, rotating, dropping into that thigh, squeeze the inner thigh, and last time, reach and open, drop the heel and squeeze it in and reverse. Open thigh, toes lead, fifth metatarsal all the way on the floor, squeeze the big toe and open thigh, toes lead out. Shifting forward, squeeze the inner thigh, and in, and again, rotate, drop through the back of the leg, and drop forward, and squeeze it in. Last time, opening, sliding, drop, find the sits bone, and squeeze it in, good. All right, let's just take some quick abs, and then we'll just take a nice little stretch and um, a little breathing to end. So shifting back, we're gonna curl the spine, 
feel the, uh, like almost the tailbone and lower sacrum on the, on the chair. I'm gonna lift the knees to the chest. I'm gonna pulse here. So extend the legs out and squeeze it in. So really using the lower abdominals, two and in, three and in, four and in, and open the thighs wide, good, and shift. You can really use that as like a little stretch for the inner thigh. I'll face side. So I uh, squeeze the legs, curl back first, yeah? So I'm lifting into that tailbone, pulling lower abdominals, lift and shift the weight slightly and squeeze the knees in, extend it out and one, out and two, out and three, out and four. From here, extend one leg, one and two, a little faster, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and 10. Keep it there, pulse, one, two, three, four, pull the belly back, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, two knees in and open, wide, good job, awesome. Keep the thighs wide. We'll just take a little undulation. So pulling up into arch, inhale, curving back, exhale. Inhale, arch one more time. And falling forward with the torso, allow the weight of the torso, drop the head, curl back through space, pull into your arch one more time. And curving, begin the sequence. We arch, we curve. We drop forward, push forward, drop the weight, lift the chin all the way up and arch, reach, and curve it, push into the feet, and reverse. We open arch, and we curve, push. This is spinal work, and we fall forward, all the way, drop through center, curling back, and pull into the feet, arch, find the spine, and again, curl, exhale, Inhale, lift, and exhale, curve. And falling forward, dip the chin to the chest, opening up spine, reach into arch, open the chest, and finish, curl, good. We'll have our spiral. So one hand on inner thigh, one hand on outer. Open up the chest here, pull the belly in, reach into your arch. Now, if you're shifted, which I am, Try to find two sits bones, yeah? So I'm slightly lifting this hip. I wanna drop and feel two sits bones into the chair. I curl, change the legs, resist the thighs, and curl against the opposite thigh. Lift into the arch reach. I fall forward with the spine, touch the thigh, swoop through center, push the leg out, reach into that upper arch. Now change the hands first, resist the thigh and curl. Curl. And I have open arch lift. Exhale, curve, changing the hands, resist the thighs. Open arch lift. Fall forward through space, touch the thigh, swoop through center, change the hands, resist the arch, and curling, resist. One more time, lifting arch. And exhale. And inhale. Open the spine, swoop through space. Inhale, lift. And exhale, last sequence. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Fall forward through space. Inhale, lift. And exhale, curve. Good. And just release that. Take the right arm. We're gonna spiral up through center. We're gonna flip the thumb, push the cobweb away from the forehead, open up to side plane and paint down the side wall. And we'll have left arm reaching up, flip and push and lower down. And again, spiral pinky. So drop the elbow, flip, push the energy away from the heel of the hand and push it down. And last time left, pushing away and opening up the shoulder joint. And we'll have little spirals. So take the torso with you, push the cobweb away, and left arm reach, push 
through center and the right arm. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Follow me. And release that centering. You can flip the palms, close the eyes for a brief moment. Just tune into the breath. Feel the tall spine, pull the belly button back and in to support the spine. Just take two deep breaths together. So inhale, just take a slight pause at the top and exhale. Feel of the spine growing taller as you exhale and inhale. Take a pause and exhale. Good. Open the eyes, take your hands to your heart center. Feel the generosity and warmth emanating from that heart center. Take the palms, just tap the top of the head. Slide it down the forehead to the lips and throat, down the sternum, and let that little ball of energy just rest into the lower belly and open. And thank you all for class. Thank you, Miss. All opened up. Yes, good. Really opened up.